We deal with all the blood vessels besides the heart and the brain uh, to, be, to simplify it. So really everywhere in the body um, do we do things to blood vessels, veins, arteries. Uh, and sometimes that's open surgery, the more traditional incision, find the blood vessel, do what you have to do with it, or balloons and stents. Essentially, an artery is a tube that has a you know pretty uniform diameter, just like, I mean, we think of it as plumbing sometimes, and it's the aneurysm is the part of the tube that kind of balloons out. And as you'd imagine, if it keeps ballooning and getting bigger, um, one, it can rupture at some point, which some aneurysms do. Those are the ones in the belly that we worry about. Those can be emergencies. Um, the other things that can happen is just by getting bigger, the flow can change and they can kind of fill up with thrombus or clot and then they can block off. So some aneurysms will block off and cause the ones in the legs more likely cause problem with flow to the legs. We are involved in a good number of clinical trials among, you know, just a handful of centers in the country that are doing several of these, uh, particularly with abdominal aortic aneurysms and trying to uh, sort of push the envelope and, and be able to do less invasive uh, treatments for those aneurysms. The thing I liked about vascular surgery that was exciting to me was that um, there were sort of different angles you could take when it, when it came to helping patients. Um, traditional open surgery that everyone knows about and, and being able to do more interesting and exciting things like ballooning and stenting or, or doing them at the same time in some, in some instances uh, to really kind of put the package together and get the patient the best, best result they could have. And then the other thing that I think is exciting is that um, like, unlike most fields in vascular surgery, I mean, you get to see your patients over and over again. So um, a lot of times with other fields, you, you really won't see them after you operate on them. But with vascular surgery, I mean, we really get to build relationships with people and we see them over and over again, whether they, after their first surgery or sometimes they need you know, other things done. A lot of times when people have blood vessel trouble, they will continue to have it. But when you fix someone's legs or, or bypass a blockage, or if they have a ruptured aneurysm um, and you save them, then, I mean, you definitely see a quality of life difference. People are very happy and they're happy right away. The reason you go into surgery is to help people and help people quickly. And, and then in vascular surgery, I get to see them again and again and, and make sure that what we fixed is still working. So I think that's what's very exciting about it.